Hi there and welcome back. Um, my name is Tonya from Tutty Treasures. If you're new then it's very nice to meet you and if you are a returning subscriber then it's always nice to have you back. Thank you for joining me. I'm just going to put a lozenger in because my throat feels dry. It's very hot um, today. I've got my fan on but I don't think that you can hear it um, <coughs> on the camera. So, my head is a little bit frazzled. Um, not long got back from uh, taking Colin, but I've just had to, you know, totally sit for about 40 minutes to, <laughs> um, to recover. Um, so, I'm carrying on with uh, the Willow and Sage. This is a kit from uh, Collage Type. There's a Willow and a Sage um, journal kit and there's um, a William Morris part as well so we've been working through this I don't know if we've had two videos I think it's something like that so off screen I've got to the same um, part as the one that we've done on screen with the other one so I've done it, you know, very similar. Some of the pages are a different, um, different, you know, way, way round and stuff. But basically, they, they're the same. There's not a lot of uh, differences. So I'm going to cover this one again with um, this planner um, sheet, which has been tea stained, which is lovely. So I think I'm going to leave that, I kind of like that. Um, let's just ink the side of this while I've got my sponge out. And I was thinking of putting um, a journal card on there just to use it as kind of, you know, a flip um, to flip it over. So if I just go down there with my ruler and ink that up and I think that's all I'll do on these two uh, pages these ones have got these uh, splodges on from when I was doing the ink staining um, I was doing the splashes on the um, wild flower dye cuts that's what I was doing so that's um, Put some clay this side. <clears throat> okay, I think that's straightish. Let's just check that. It's a little bit of glue spillage. Not a lot. Okay, so that's that bit. Um, I've got some of the lined paper which are tea stained which got uh, ripped so I'm going to fill some of the bottom end with that. Ooh. Ooh, I hate it when it tears like that. So perhaps put that um, there. Yeah, we'll do that. So this one's inking around. And then I've got some little stickers out, um, which I'll just add um, onto these pages. Right, so if that comes to there, that wants to go about there, it's fine. Okay, so let's glue this down. is really sticky and tacky with it being so so hot let's get that as far perhaps just going to rip that little bit off oops oops a daisy okay then we'll get this done this tea stains come out a lovely colour um, I'd guess that it was coffee stain if I didn't um, know. So it's come out a really uh, dark, grungy colour. 
love it. Okay, I just got a couple of um, stickers. Let's put this one down if I can get it off. These are from uh, your creative studio box. I've had them a while, so it's nice to, to get them used. I'm going to save the potted plant ones because if I do those uh, windows, Again, what I did, um, the potted plants had come in very handy. So I might try and get them like all on one one sheet or something. I've bent that over. Okay, so there's that. Now I had pulled um, some different paper out but I don't think it, it needs it, I could perhaps use that somewhere else so that bit goes like so. So we've got this bit here which is going to need something and then we've got this, we've put a tab on it and it's obviously decorated both sides so we don't need to do anything to that. This is going to need a card and we're going to want some decoration on here so I think I just want something uh, small I forget where um, all my bits are I think I might have used them you know they're pockets I have used them so I know there's some things with uh, pictures on in my label so I'll perhaps have to just pull out um, some of those now I saw a lovely green one in here she says I have got, oh I've got some um, clusters haven't I and um, snippety things so maybe a cluster would be nice on there so I don't want to take too much of the space space up that's perhaps a little bit too big, it's not two. Yes, it is two. Oh, oh, I could perhaps move that over a bit. Oh, it's the wrong way. <laughs> no, I can't. Let's move that one. I don't think that's the right green. Could have perhaps done that as a top, but I don't think I want, you know, I want that for. For writing. Oh, that would be okay. Yeah, and it stays in um, the box, so I'm just going to ink the back side of that and pop some glue on. Oh, I'm not going to want glue there, am I? Honestly, as I say, you'll have to excuse me. I'm gonna say it, it does frizz all your brain, uh, the sun or the heat. Right, let me um, get a wipe. I'm not closing it yet anyway, so it should be should be fine. 
So I'm thinking um, the spook strip. So I don't really want one with a. Oh, that's nice. I say I don't want one with a tab. That's very nice too, but I don't know if it covers too much. That's got a tab. That's got a tab. Yeah, the rest have got tabs. So I shall use um that one. Um I don't think I want to do anything else to, to the page and keep it um as it as it is uh, but I will need to find a journal card so if I put it right on the edge it will give that side a little bit of stability yeah lovely yeah, I like that. Okay, um, let's reach for the journal cards. Now I've got one of the, the windows here. Blue that little bit down. I think that'd be nice in there. I don't think I've put a window in one in yet. I can't remember. If I did it, I've only put one in. Okay. So that's that. I don't know if I'm going to want something for on there. What about um, a sticker so you can see see through it? Like a quite big. Big one. Really got me. Big ones. Oh, there's a couple of little ones on there. But I won't use them. Hmm. Or I could put a fussy cut on there. I don't think I've used a fussy cut. Um, yeah, that does look nice. That's nice on that. And I have got, oh, I was saving that for something. Oh, I've got some really big ones in here. like that I think once it's been binning um, so I'm gonna pop that on there Done because I need that. So I've just got um, 
a misprint. Yeah. Which I can ink on the back. Just to tone tone it down. It's a little bit too bright. I think I'll just ink around the actual sides just to make it pop. Okay, so it's Friday here today. Uh, you'll see this on the following Friday. So Eleanor's just got home from school. I think she's just getting um, a bowl of quick noodles. She doesn't tend to eat at school, I don't know why. Um, not properly, um, she'll, you know, have a drink and a muffin, but um, yeah, that's about, about it. So I can have pots clattering and stuff. Ryan's done over his hours this week, so he's took a few hours back today. So he's back from work and he's up the garden with a, a can of beer and um, it's, it's taking um, his sunbathing, <laughs> relaxing. So it's his weekend off this weekend. His brother's supposed to be coming on Sunday and they're finishing off the path um, on the garden at the back around the pond um they've nearly finished it but um the angle grinder uh, it had run out of petrol when he came last time um and it was getting late so he wanted to get get off so this has already been been inked it's a bit of a wonky cut round but <laughs> It kind of gives it an even more vintage, vintage look. Yeah, so that will do on there. And then we've got that. Um, I don't know if to pop something on there because it's not like you know we use the doilies for anything. Maybe, maybe a little sticker. Let's use one of these up. These are again they're from your creative studio. Pop that there, use the zip up and pop this little flower pattern just down here. Lovely. Right, I think I'm going to want to pocket um, on this one. So, where's the, um, trying to think what pockets we've, we've got in here. green um, goes on there. Don't want another paper bag one. Ooh, not got one of those. I think that's in the other one. Again I want to take that out of it. It's a bit too I mean saying that that's bright but yeah, I just feel like it's too bright. I maybe I ought to tea stain them. 
So if I put that in the middle and then I want a, another tag. So if I rip this down and pop that one inside. So that was a, a Roxy Challenge um, pocket. And that'll be in the Roxy Challenge playlist. Oops. Yep. And I'm going to stick it um, down completely because I only made this pocket with um, just normal copy paper. I think it was a little bit of an oversight. Trying to keep the lids on with it being so so hot. Then with this page, do is something, but not not something. No, I don't want that that side. No. That's, I mean, if it went to the edge, it'd be fine. It's getting very chunky. Um, I think I'll, I'll leave that. Um, what about putting some? like writing um pieces on there then maybe a sticker and um a label or something that's um so i've got some smaller ones let's ink around but yeah i didn't realize how um chunky it was getting weak we're not even halfway um halfway there so yeah i like that idea so i'm gonna stick this one down first I think on the lined piece I'll just um, do a ink stamp. I'll have that there and then maybe that like that. Yeah, I like that. Okay, okay.
pimps. Okay. Okay. Lovely. So I'm going to put um, my thingy on here. These stamps are from your creative studio box too. So hopefully it will do it okay. Right, I'll just see what's over the page. Oh, lovely. Have a look on here. So I think I will just put these down the edge just to give it a bit of something to look at. So I'll pop that in there. I really wanted it a bit higher, but that's fine. used up and we've got that I don't think I want to do anything on there I'm not going to do anything on there because you know that can be um, a writing spot hmm I feel like I want to put something on these I think that would be nice there Look. Got quite a bit left, but just not not the right um, thing. remember what I put in here. Yeah, that's nice. So I'm going to pop that there. I think I'll do that with the art glitter. I 
happens I'm gonna going to glue it all the way around because the only you know thin thin bags I don't think it needs anything underneath that okay bit so I think I'll put um, a label um, on there yeah I like that little hexagon well I think it's a hexagon I'm not up on um, how many sides and what they're called Totally forgotten um, that from school. So I've never had to use it for anything else. I suppose it depends, you know, if you've used them for other things. So that's that. <coughs> Ooh. Mm. Let's um, stick this down. I'm going to put a bow in and this okay Okay, that's a little uh, scrappy notebook. And we've got a collage uh, tag. I feel like I want to put something on there. Hmm. I'll just put that on as a as a decoration rather than um, a talk. that one and I will <coughs> do um I think I'll put stickers on this one and stamp on the other one
Yeah. It's lovely. So let's take that stamp off and use a different one. Yep. lovely so we put a pocket on that and a decoration on the other one didn't we so I think I'm about running out of pockets oh that's um oh I've got a baggy band could cut that bottom off I've got a tag that would go I that's the pocket, isn't it? I'll keep that out. I'll stick that on the other side as um, some decoration. What am I looking for? Journal card. I've got that one. You can say I'm I can take that out of Maybe not the right kind of green. I think that's going to be too big for the belly band once I've cut some, some off. One might be okay. Let's try that one. Right, so I want to. Take it off of there. Still okay for that. Let's um, corner around that. It's another good uh, thing about not sewing completely round things. <laughs> At least then you can cut them down because otherwise it's it's a nightmare. exactly straight but I'm fine with that okay maybe don't throw it at it let's put that there I'm just going to give this a bit more of a okay in there I'm just going to pause and give it a few minutes to um dry while we on pause i will 
think that's a little bit too big. Um, I had got another one. That might be a good pocket as well because it's obviously only thin. Okay, go in that. Um, yes, I've got that uppy one. Right. I think I'm gonna have to put some some more glue on that. Okay, that's uh, stuck now. Um, I've stuck this on. It's a bit of a <coughs> things are going in all all directions, and I've stuck this paper clip down underneath it. So I thought I don't know if it's gonna work. Um. Might just put a few of these bits of paper um, underneath it, like that. Hey, I like that. Yeah, <laughs> these are uh, papers from uh, Stationery Pal, um, the latest haul video that I did. So I've just stuck a sticker on there and there and put a number on. I'm going to put another fussy cut on there and I've put that um, journal card in there. So I might put that or I could put that one, couldn't I? Yeah, let's do do that. So I don't need to glue that sticky out bit like I did last time. So where shall I put it? Oh, that. <laughs> That'll be the place. It's upside down, Tony. You did that last time. Right, let's pop that there. Okay. Oh, da -da. Right, what can I put up there? Yeah, that's nice. I don't know if there'll be enough glue on there or not. Too much there. Okay, I shall go round that with the art glitter. I think that one's okay, so I won't need to do anything on there. That bit's done. So I want another fussy cut um, on there. Too big. Mm, that's nice. Let's pop that on there. So I'll do the same, I'll ink over it and then perhaps just put a little uh, label there. And then what have we got here? Oh, still got quite a bit. So we'll have another um, session at this and wherever we get to after next session, uh, I think we'll have to call it a day. And I think I've just written that, I have. Um, I shall put some washi over over that bit 
Okay, so thank you for joining me. I need to go and get a, a drink and what have you. Clear this table off a, a bit. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be mammoth. Um, but you can, once you've... Um, tidy it up it, it's not you know half as half as bad um so yeah <laughs> uh, yeah this is probably the biggest um i've ever made this looks like Rita jensen <laughs> one uh, absolutely bulging bulging out but yeah i've had so much fun um doing it this way so, yeah, just taking it page by page. Um, and I think it's it's given it a lot nicer um, look. So, yeah, I'm thrilled with that. So, yeah, I shall be uh, back tomorrow. Uh, we'll have another session on it. And, um, yeah, then we'll, we'll leave it at, at that. I don't think I'm going to do a flip through because obviously I flipped through it several um, times. The other one's very, very similar. Um, I shall just just get them um, up on up on it. See, um, I may I may do it. Um, yeah, I'll do it. I'll either do it when this video comes out today or I'll do it um, tomorrow's video um, so yeah very very nice right so that's where I am okay thank you very much for joining me and see you tomorrow bye